Hello, this is the continuation of Sahulgas Report. I'm Ryan S. Bentazal and the topic that I'm going to discuss is the results are arbitrary deported to the Pitan. On July 7, 1892, Gaceta de Manila published the study of results arrest the same Asia gubernatorial decree have him the reasons to, for results deportation as follows. The first reason, Rizal had published books and articles abroad which showed disloyalty to Spain and which were frankly anti-Catholic and imprudently anti-friar. Second, a few hours after his arrival in Manila, there was found in his packages a bundle of handbells entitled Pobres Frailes. Third, his novel El Filibusterismo was dedicated to the memory of the three traitors. The last reason, the end of which he pursues in his efforts and writings, is to tear from the loyal Filipinos' breast the three shores of our Catholic faith. On July 15, 1892, Rizal was brought under heavy guard to the steamer Cebu which was sailing for the Pitan. This steamer under Captain Delgras sailing south passing Mindori and Panay. On July 17, 1892, they reached the Pitan at 7 in the evening. After that, Captain Delgras handed Rizal to Captain Ricardo Carnicero, a Spanish of the Pitan. The same night, July 17, 1892, Rizal began his exile in Launi de Pitan which could last until July 31, 1896, a period of four years. And that is the experiences of Rizal deported to the Pitan. At this moment, we are going to tackle about the second travel abroad of Jose Rizal in Hong Kong and Macau in the year 1888. On February 3, 1888, after a short stay of six months in his beloved Calamba, Rizal left Manila for Hong Kong on board the Zafero. He didn't get off his ship when it made brief stopover at Amoy on February 7 for three reasons. He was not feeling well, it was raining hard, and he heard that the city was dirty. February 8, 1888, he arrived in Hong Kong. Rizal stayed at Victoria Hotel and welcomed by the Filipino residents including Jose Maria Basa, Balbino Mauricio, and Manuel Eriarte, a Spanish who sees since Divaranda, who was a former secretary of Governor Hinal Terrero, shadowed Rizal's movement in Hong Kong. It is believed that he was commissioned by the Spanish authorities to spy on Rizal. On February 18, he was accompanied by Baza, boarded the ferry steamer Kyu Kyang for Macau. He was surprised to see among the passengers a familiar figure since the veranda. In Macau, Rizal and Baza stayed at the home of Don Juan Francisco Licaros. On February 19, he witnessed a Catholic procession and February 20, Rizal and Baza returned to Hong Kong again on board the ferry steamer Kyu Kyang. Here's the experiences of Rizal in Hong Kong. First, noisy celebration of the Chinese New Year, to watch Chinese theater, to be with Marathon Laureate Party, to observe the Dominicans in Hong Kong, and the last one, to go to Hong Kong cemeteries. On February 22, 1888, Rizal left Hong Kong on board the Oceanic, an American steamer, and this de destination was Japan. And those are the happenings of Rizal in Hong Kong and Macau. At this juncture, we will witness the romantic interlude in Japan of Rizal in the year 1888. On February 28, 1888, early in the morning of Tuesday, Rizal arrived in Yokohama. He registered at the Glerand Hotel. The next day, he proceeded to Tokyo and took a room at the Tokyo Hotel where he stayed from March 2-7. March to 7. He was impressed by the city of Tokyo. After Rizal's arrival in Tokyo, he was visited by his hotel by Juan Perez Caballero, a secretary of Spanish legation. The latter invited him and he accepted it for two reasons. He could economize his living expenses and he had nothing to hide from the prying eyes of the Spanish authorities. On March 7, Rizal checked out of Tokyo Hotel and leave at the Spanish legation. He and Caballero became good friends. During his first day at Tokyo, Rizal was embarrassed because he did not know the Japanese language, so Rizal decided to study the Japanese language. He also studied the Japanese drama, the kabuki, art, music, and judo. He also visited Migoro, Niko, Hakoni, Miyan Nohita, and the charming villages of Japan. Romance with Ozi-san one spring afternoon, Rizal saw a pretty Japanese girl walking past the legation gate. A Japanese gardener said to Rizal that it was Siko Usoi. Siko Usui was mildly amused at the gallant gentleman from the Philippines who spoke in halting Japanese. Rizal saw in love Osi san the qualities of his ideal womanhood, beauty, charm, modesty, and intelligence. No wonder he fell deeply in love with her. Osi san reciprocated his affection for it was the first time for her, for her heart palpitated with joys to see man of gallantry, dignity, courtesy, and versatile talents. 
Rizal's great love for Ossisan is attested by the hero's diary. With this tragic entry in his own diary, Rizal bade farewell to lovely Ossisan. As everything on earth has to end, the beautiful romance between them inevitably came to a dolorous ending. Sacrificing his personal happiness, Rizal had carried on his libertarian mission on Europe. Voyage Across the Pacific Despite his sorrowful heart, Rizal enjoyed a pleasant trans-Pacific voyage to the United States. Next, the story of Rizal and Tetsuo. Rizal befriended on board the Belgic was Tetsuo, a fighting Japanese journalist, novelist, and champion of human rights who was forced by the Japanese government to leave the country. During the intimate acquaintanceship of eight almost eight months, Tetsuo came to admire Rizal, whose patriotism and magnificent talents greatly fascinated him and influenced him. In the year 1889, after his return to Japan, he published his travel diary which contained his impression of Rizal. After publish of his diary, Tichu resigned his position as editor of Tokyo newspaper, Choya, and entered politics. In 1890, he was elected as a member of the lower house of the first imperial diet, where he carried of his fight for human rights. In 1891, he published a political novel entitled Nankai no Daiharan or Storm Over the South Sea, which resembled results no limitang hire in plot. Three years later, he published another novel entitled O Unabara, or The Big Ocean, which is similar to El Filibusterismo. And those are the happenings of Rizal in Japan.